What's up everybody, it's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video and today I opened up some Levi's denim jeans, the size of sides of Levi denim jeans and we're gonna embroider the Black Bear logo applique on the jeans and then sew them back up. Sewing is something that I highly recommend everybody learn how to do, even if you just practice on a little piece of fabric or a piece of um, cutaway stabilizer that you guys have convert put your se 600 or your se 1900 in sewing mode and just play around with the different types of stitches that you can do and practice sewing straight practice different techniques look at some sewing videos and maybe i'll make some sewing videos if enough people are interested and you guys can add that to your garment decorating arsenal it's a very very powerful skill to have so i highly encourage you guys and i've encouraged you guys before to learn sewing so um, let me show you guys what i did with this applique design real fast let's just Go over to the um, MT1501 from Racoma. And shouts out to Racoma Deco Summit this weekend. These pants I'll be wearing at Deco Summit. So let's get into it. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. Eight, 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 productions. Just like that. Like, comment, subscribe. Just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. A dub, you ready? Wait a minute. Today, as you guys can see, I'm doing applique on jeans. These are literally brand new Levi jeans. And in order to get this design on here, I had to cut the jeans open. And after the applique is done, I'm going to sew them back shut. So now it's done this part, I'm gonna take it off of the hoop and I'm gonna cut out my applique design with my scissors right here. Cut very close and then put it back on the machine. So let me take it off now. So in this instance, I'm leaving my design hooped and I'm just gonna get in close on the material and cut it as close to the stitch as possible cut out that shape without um cutting any of the stitches and to get a good applique you got to get as close as possible like i said without cutting any of the stitches it's kind of tedious to do which is why i wish i had a laser cutter so i can you know kind of like cut it and like place it so it'll already be cut so i have a nice accurate cut but i don't have a laser cutter yet but i'm looking into getting one so um yeah just getting real close position yourself it's better to take the hoop out but i don't feel like doing it right now um so i'm just gonna cut as close as i can and get this as good as possible and i will be wearing these pants to deco summit so i'm being real careful so i can you know do the best job i can and I'm confident that it's gonna come out great because these scissors that I'm using are very, very sharp and I've done this design a bunch of times already. So it should look great on these jeans. And this is the kind of look that you guys are going for. I know the kind of look that you guys are going for. So that's why I want to show you guys what it entails. And like I said, in order to get that look, that clean look, you have to get in really, really close on the stitches without cutting the actual stitches so that like so that your design comes out really really clean all right so as you guys can see i'm getting really really close to that stitch without cutting it and this is what i end up with right here i still feel like i can get in a little bit closer right here so i'm just going to cut off the access that i can and I'm just looking around the edges right here where it dips in right here. Just cut some of that off if I can get to it. Sometimes you can't really get to it. And that's good enough. So I'm going to frame in on my uh, MT1501 right here. Press this button right here and it's going to frame in. And I'm going to let the design continue on. All right, so press that frame in button. My design moves in. And now I'm going to, once again, make sure everything is clear at the bottom. And then I'm going to let my design continue by just hitting the start button on the machine. Um, next color is going to be number three, and that's red. I'm just checking it one more time. White and then the gray. Yep, that looks about good. So I'm just going to let it start. I'm just going to do the border around the whole thing. All right. It's a red border around the entire thing, followed by uh, the inside stitch. So right now it's embroidering the whole thing. I'm just going to let this thing stitch out on the jeans and after it's done stitching out I'm gonna sew the jeans back together on my sewing machine so you guys can see what it entails if you want to do something magnificent and special on a pair of jeans 
um, an area in an area that you normally wouldn't be able to hoop or the pants wouldn't be able to feed through the machine you got to kind of like do some tricky stuff to get to it to get to that area just to create something unique you got to do something sometimes you got to work a little harder to get to get the, the results that you wanted to get the stuff to get the machine to do stuff that you want it to do all right and in the end it'll be worth it so here we go you can really see it now the needle doing what it needs to do for that design to come out just gonna blow some stuff out of the way there as best I can but this design is gonna be awesome there's gonna be nobody with some Levi denim jeans like these this is something that I can offer to clients. This is something that I've done. I do this often when I am um, making patches. When I'm putting patches, uh, putting uh, like little background designs on jeans, I do this a lot. I open up the jean seam and I, the seams, and then I uh, apply the patches, and then I uh, sew it back together. Very, very, very pleased with the way this is coming out. It looks very good, if I do say so myself. Um, but one thing I messed up on, this black bear right here, instead of white, it is supposed to be blue letters, I think. I think that's how I normally make it, but it's okay. I mean, it's okay. It's gonna be great anyway. Um, sometimes it's good to switch things up. But actually, if my memory serves me correctly, no, it is supposed to be white. Yeah, you're right, I'm, I'm right. It is supposed to be white with the gray, uh, with the gray top seeker front at the top so it's looking good it's looking good it's gonna come out good and I'm excited about what we're doing right here it's looking really really clean the MT is kicking butt it's about to switch to 13 which is the gray yeah it's cool all right yeah I just want you guys to see when it switches right there from this thread to the other thread all right, finishing this part up. And it's gonna stop, it's gonna trim, and then it's gonna go to needle number 13. All right, let me zoom out a little bit so you guys see what the machine is doing. Going from needle number number one to needle number 13. Right there, now needle number 13 is going to start embroidering that beautiful chain stitch right here. There you go, nice. All finished up. Only thing left to do is sew it back shut. So we are done with this design, guys. It came out flawless. Oh my gosh, can't wait to sew this shut. I already, so now I already did a straight stitch to go all the way down the jeans, so my jeans are shut. And now I'm just doing another stitch to, to kind of like wrap up the edge of it to seal it back how it was. So this stitch, kind of takes a long time so I'm just going to run my machine all the way down the edge to close back up my jeans. It's kind of like a lock stitch to like kind of like give it that give it that finish on the inside that it had already so yeah took my jeans apart embroidered on them and put them back together. Of course of course I mean when I flip it right side back in you see I got the tag still on this brand new jeans in case you didn't know but now we are sealed up we got our embroidery design on there put a little something extra on there and just do something on there something to you know let people know you know showcase what i do at deco summit you know what i mean don't gotta make sense but this is just something different that nobody's gonna have right you got the you can compare the side that was finished already right to the side that I took apart and redid, right? Can't tell the difference. Can't tell the difference at all, all right? So that's what you wanna, you know, that's where your sewing skills come in. Nothing's really tough about sewing, to be honest with you. Nothing's really tough about it. It's just making sure that you thread your machine correctly. Once you make sure you thread your machine correctly, your machine just sews. It's nothing difficult about it, but here's what I added to my jeans right here. And this should give you guys an idea of something that you guys can do. I'm also gonna add my little uh, my little uh, Dub Nation patch on the back pocket right there and 
And that's it, man. We're ready to go. Ready to rock these out for uh, Deco Summit. Brand new Levi jeans with the black bear embroidery on it and the Adel Productions at the kneecap. Oh, yeah. It's definitely going to be different. Definitely going to be different when I'm rocking it on stage. Woo! Yeah, let's go. Now, guys, I definitely do enjoy taking jeans apart and doing interesting things to them. Like I said, sometimes I, like, cut holes in them and I put like little patterns. You can go to pattern store, find an interesting uh, pattern fabric and put it in the holes like the ones I have on right now. You can see I added these stars, red, white, and blue and to the knees. I put a little, you know, all in my rips and stuff. I got these red, white, and blue flags and stuff like that. All on the other knee right here. I got some, you know, some stars over here. Let me angle the camera down so you guys can see it. But these jeans have rips all over them right here and I, I you know opened them up and added all these little patterns that I like from the pattern store so that's just one thing another thing that you could do to uh, you know make your stuff a little different other than that these jeans would have been ruined because look at these big hole by the thigh right there but I saved them I can put them in a wash and now that I reinforced them these rips aren't getting any bigger but you know pretty good y'all see it gonna go home and I'm gonna put the other part on there but I enjoy doing this stuff man you see you got this right here and then we got our black bear right on the yeah you know what I mean this is gonna be dope for me to wear to deco summit this weekend yeah let's go just one more idea one more thing that you can do to add to your apparel decorating arsenal guys um sewing is a very very valuable skill and i advise all you guys to if you have a brother sc 600 or se 1900 or you don't have any i highly advise you to get a se and not a pe pe is embroidery only se is sewing and embroidery so um you'll have the sewing capabilities because having sewing in your arsenal part of garment decorating learn how to make your own shirts learn how to make your own pants learn how to open up your seams and close your seams back very valuable skill to have. Hope this video was helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys at Deco Summit um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, guys. So I'll see you guys at Deco Summit. It's your boy, Alan. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?